could talk about some of the details. Well, I'd rather have you guys just come up and run it through. The uh, way it's going to work is just pretend like we're the guests. And Martin and Kobe Young, uh, we're going to just respond to whatever you guys are doing. So <coughs> kind of just rehearse it, act like the bride and the groom are here. So All right. this is a real situation, and that's how I want you guys to do it. But before we start, I thought about MC Workshop for the past couple of nights. I had two weddings last weekend, on Saturday and Sunday. And I think that was two of the most horrible weddings I've ever been to. Saturday wedding, um, during cake cutting, I was backing away, I was doing MC, I was backing away, and I knocked off the center table, so it fell down. The center table fell down, so I got like all like drinks all over my suit. You know, so, so I caught it, I caught it, so I put it back. But the food was spilled and everything, right? So I just quickly wiped away, I just, Act like nothing happened and just went off. So hope, no, hopefully nobody noticed. <laughs> um, Sunday wedding it was probably one of the biggest expensive weddings I've ever been to. Um, I think one of the Korean DJ from Lincoln Park was there. Um, John? Yeah, he was there. He's going to get married at that location too, I think, with his fiance. So it was a big wedding, you know, big timers. And the coordinator was just a pain to work with. And I know some of you guys have been to Shine Wedding where we do dance hall. So as soon as I was going to do a dance-off, she dragged the bride and the groom back to the center table saying they need to eat. So she stopped everything as soon as I was announcing it. So it just cut off the flow, right? Something like that. It was just, Who was this? Uh, it was some uh, Eva. Her name is Eva. Korean? Yeah, Korean. It's terrible. So, so mad. She's saying no one got to eat. And, you know, just terrible, right? She's saying photographer is complaining. And, I got into all this argument, but the point that I'm trying to make though is you just have to keep going. You know, if I have the center table falling apart, I got food all over my suit, just wipe away and move on, you know. But for the training purpose, you know, what Martin mentioned last time is this program is more of a fail proof system, right? So, how, you know, how good of an MC you guys are going to be, that's going to depend on your originality, your personality. Everybody has a different individuality, so that's gonna show up later, right? And I remember Martin shared his first experience, right? Something terrible. I had my first experience was terrible. So did Kobe, I'm sure his first experience that I'm seeing was terrible, right? But we can't afford you guys to have the same first terrible experience. That's what this workshop's about. So that your first experience isn't gonna be that you're gonna share with someone saying, oh my God, everything just went wrong, and I wasn't prepared for that, I wasn't prepared for this. That's why I write the script, you know, first thing Warren mentioned during the workshop was knowing what you're talking about is the most important thing, right? That's why having your script, and I ask you guys to memorize the order, right? So can we just go over the order first, and then we'll start. Um, what's the first thing that's going to happen? The quick announcement. Okay, quick announcement, right? So door opens, right? It's guests coming in. Quick announcement will be something like, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for coming. We'll be starting in about five minutes. If there's bars open outside. We're going to start in ten minutes. Please enjoy. We'll be back in ten minutes. Thank you. Something like that. What's that after quick announcement? MC intro. So MC intro, that's when you come with the music, right? Come out. Uh, what's that after intro? The bridal party entrance. Entrance, right? Yeah. Right. And what's that after the entrance? The dance, first dance. First dance, right. So for the entrance, there's two parts. The bridal party, groom's party, right? And then the bride and the groom. First dance, after first dance, usually family introduction. In between, I put a little quiz or a game for break the, break the ice with the guests. And after family introduction, Dinner time, so you get announced there, right? If there's a meal prayer, there'll be a meal prayer. So those are orders that we're just for this particular workshop we'll go through. So without me talking too much, I'd rather have you guys come up and just kind of run through everything, and we'll get you guys some feedback, and then we'll go back from there. So first up is going to be Daniel. Yeah! Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We'll be beginning tonight's festivities shortly, so please help yourself to snacks in the back. Uh, also, be sure to validate your ticket up front, and the restrooms are located right outside the door and to your right. We'll be starting in about 10 minutes, okay? So I'll be right back. Thank you. Okay, and then I'll come back. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome uh, to today's wedding reception of Jennifer Kim and John Park. My name is Daniel Chang, and I will be the MC for this special occasion. We are here to celebrate the union of these two lovely people. And to make this night an extra special night, I'll ask, I'll ask you to bring your positive energy and enthusiasm. 
Can everybody do that? Yeah. yeah. All right. Now, without further ado, I'd like to welcome the bridal party. First, we walk up bridesmaid Jane Kim and groomsman Joe Johnson. Johnson. <laughs> they come in. Music playing. Uh, second, we walk up bridesmaid Michelle Smith and groomsman Mike So. Next, we welcome the maid water Jackie Gold and best man Mitch Parker. And everybody, please rise for the main attraction to welcome, for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. John Park. Woo! Now we will begin tonight's memorable moment with the couple's first dance. Okay, we have many prizes to give out tonight uh, and throughout the evening. So I'd like to start out by giving away our first prize. Who in here drove more than 10 miles to celebrate this wedding? 10 miles? 20 miles. All right, 40 miles. 50 miles. <laughs> All right, where are you from, sir? I'm from Alaska. Alaska? Alaska. Yes, Alaska. You drove all the way from Alaska here? No, I drove to LAX and then I had to drive all the way down here. So. Wait, wait, you drove to LAX? So I took the plane. I drove from Alaska to the airport and then I took the plane to California and then I drove from the LAX straight to the party. Okay, anybody drove farther than from LAX to here? All right, sir, you win. A $50 gas card. Congratulations. Yes. All right. Now Jack will come up and introduce the families. Uh, intru introduce the family of the groom side. Jack goes on. Hello, this is my father. This is my brother. Thank you very much. Uh, now Jill will come up and introduce the family of the bride side. Jill, come up. Uh, now before the meal, we have Pastor Son who will come up and bless the food. Okay. Now it's time to eat. Please wait for the banquet captain to call on your table before heading over to the blue bay line. Thank you. And we'll begin after dinner. Good job. Right. Yeah. We're just going to keep it going. Can I get everyone to put their hands together as we get the celebration started? Hello, my name is Sam Lee, and I have the honor of being your MC tonight. This is DJ Allen, and we are Shine Entertainment. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, we are about to get this party started, but before we do, I'd like to introduce our, introduce our bridal party. So let's have some fun and support them as they make their way down, and maybe they'll show us a little bit of their dance moves as well. First off, with our first couple, let's give it up for Mark and Mary. Mark and Mary! Mark and Mary. <laughs> Next up, we have Luke and Lisa. Lisa! Yeah, Lisa. And introducing the best man and maid of honor tonight, Tim and Tammy. Right. Yeah, yeah, Tim and Tammy. Yeah. Yeah, they do their thing. Um, now if I can ask everyone to stand up as we make some noise for tonight's special couple. Fresh out of the wedding ceremony and ready to celebrate y'all tonight, introducing to you Mr. and Mrs. John Park. Woo! All right. All right, we're now going to take this time and uh, ask our bride and groom to meet in the center of the dance floor. We want to invite everybody to come out if they would like to. Take some pictures of as John and Jennifer share their first dance together as husband and wife. Dinner will begin shortly, but before we go into that, I want to take some time to get your competitive appetites going as we play a quick game of John and Jennifer trivia. We will be asking our guests a series of questions about John and Jennifer, and do not want to miss out on this because we do have some great prizes to give out. Now before dinner is served, we would like to take a quick moment to recognize the family of the bride and groom. To introduce the family on our bride's side, we have the bride's sister, Jamie. Introduce. And now to introduce the groom's family, we have his brother, Jacob. We will begin dinner now 
our short leaves. Please enjoy the food, and we will resume the celebration shortly after. Alright, uh, may I have your attention please? I'd like to make a quick announcement. Before we begin tonight's celebration, the parents of the bride and groom have provided delicious snacks located in the back of the ballroom there. Uh, the restrooms are located outside, outside the door to the right. Also, for those of you who have validation, there's a validation table right outside the entrance ballroom, entrance of the ballroom. Thank you. Good evening. Ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the wedding reception of Jennifer and John Park. My name is Sam, and I'll be your MC for tonight. I would like to ask all of uh, I would like to ask all of you to please take your seats as we um, as we're about to begin. Also, on behalf of Jennifer and John and their parents, I would like to express their heartfelt gratitude for your presence at this memorable occasion. It is indeed a pleasure to have you all here tonight. So, without further ado. I would like to welcome the bridal party. First, welcome bridesmaid Jane Smith and groomsman Joel Smith. All right, Steve. Second, we welcome brides, uh, bridesmaid Karen Lee and groomsman Michael Kim. We welcome the maid of honor Lisa Park and best man Roy Yu. Roy. And now, for the big moment we've all been waiting for. It is my distinct pleasure to introduce to you, for the very first time, let's give it up for the bride and groom, Mr. and Mrs. John Park! Yeah! I will now invite the bride and groom to the dance floor for the very first dance as husband and wife. Now, before the family introductions, I see that everyone is eyeing the centerpiece. So, we're going to play a simple game um, for the centerpiece. I'm going to read a short story and you're going to pass the napkin once to the left or right every time I say the word left or right. Whoever ends up with the napkin wins. And then I'm going to tell a short story. Okay. Do I have to read it? Or? Can you? Uh, well, okay. okay. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll read this, it. This is the game, right? This yeah, is yeah this, is game. this is the game. Yeah, the game. Cool. Okay. Uh, well, Jennifer left her house as... She was on her way to the church for the wedding, but about halfway there, as she turned left, she remembered that she left her wedding dress at home, right by the door. She then knew right away that she had to turn around to go right back to get her dress, so she turned right, then left, and left again, turning right into her driveway. Sure enough, it was there, right where she left it, right next to the door. Finally, she was on the right track. When she arrived at the church, she realized though uh, she realized that the only she only had one hour left before the wedding, and she still had her hair and makeup left to do. So she went right to work and finished with time left to spare. Well, the wedding was beautiful and the ceremony was just right, and nothing was left out. At the reception, John surprised Jennifer with a beautiful gift. She was so happy that she teared right up. After their honeymoon, they left. Of course, it wouldn't be right to say where they went. So now there's nothing left to say except enjoy the evening. But just for fun, though, pass one more to the left. Oh, now, see, got it. wasn't that fun? Right? Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations to the person who has a napkin. You are now the owner of the beautiful centerpiece. Okay. Woo! Now for the family introduction, uh, the father of the groom, Mr. Myung Soo Park, will now come up to introduce the family of the groom's side. The father of the bride, Mr. Chung Eun Kim, will now come up and introduce the family of the bride's side. The buffet is now open. Please wait for the banquet captain to call your table before heading over to the bed, to, before heading over to the buffet line. Thank you and enjoy your meal. All right. Oh, everyone missed it. This is important. This is 
part of why we're shy. Uh, one of the description was 70, 30, 70 to 30 percent English to Korean. Right? If you're more comfortable with Korean, 70 Korean, 30 English, right? Do you have to speak Korean? That's important. Bilingual, right? How you mix that in between these announcements is a trick. It's very difficult, right? I know that all of you guys are more comfortable with English, so you guys all prepare with that. It's great. But you do have to mix that in, right? Something like that, right? You just have to go flow right in. And that's one of the things that's really hard to work in, right? That's why people always look for bilingual websites. Because they have friends who speak Korean. They have friends who speak English. And they perhaps could do some of these things that we're doing. But to do, be able to do that, flow right in and out, so make sure that everybody's involved, that's part of the key, right? So it's okay that um, you guys missed on that, but I wanted to just point that out real quick. I guess uh, Martin and Kobe, we're going to kind of just do a quick feedback. Um, I'm going to ask Martin and Kobe to come up and kind of just give you guys a couple pointers. Um, before we start doing that, I just want to share a couple things. Um, all of you guys have a different tone than you guys can like. Can you guys all maybe practice? Or is that something you guys always have? Oh, practice. Uh, yeah, right, practice, right? Like you, you had a very different tone when you got the mic, right? This is good. And that's a good starting point. I did that too. I stand in mirror and said, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to, you know, something like that, right? And that's nothing all, all you guys did. Um, one thing that I want to point out, if it's too, um, if it's a graph, it's a straight line, where you guys just did the whole run through. There has to be a mix of up and down, right? Um, I think you showed a little bit when you introduced the husband, the new Mr. and Mrs., right? You had a little bit of that, but that has to kind of flow in and out. And that's the part that I ask you guys to memorize the, um, the order of the reception. There's a flow of the reception as well, right? The grand entrance is where it heads hot. First dance is where you come it down, like romance set it, right? Family introduction, that's important, right? So you calm it down, right? The game time, you want to be more lively, right? So your flow has to go up and down, and your tone and your voice and your posture has to follow with that. So I know that it's kind of nervous. So the, when we do a second time run through, that's something that I need all of you guys to think about. And for the second time run through, we'll do it at the end of the night. Make sure you mix in whatever language that you can, whatever portion that you can, so that we can see at least how it is for you guys. So um, that's all I really want to say for now. Um, Martin, did you want to? Uh, um, yeah, I'll just go one more time. Daniel, uh, 